This is a Windows Phone 7 video review of Board Express Pro, which is an application that lets you view various different forms right on your Windows Phone device with a really fluid and nice touch interface. So you can have your favorite forms right up at the front of the application. And then when you open up a form, you can have it take you to like the latest posts on the forms, or you can also dive into the categories of the forms over here. So you can look through all the different categories, and it's really nice and touch friendly. So sometimes the scrolling is a bit choppy, it's not as fluid as Windows Phone 7 normally is, but it's still a pretty good experience here. So you can dive into different subform categories, and then here's all the posts inside them. So like you can look at this form here and you can automatically have your account signed in up here. So as you can see, I'm signed in to XDA Developers. That means that I can quote stuff and I can reply to things and look at my subscribed threads and stuff like that. You can even view pictures here just by tapping the little picture icon. And say if you want to quote something, you can just tap and hold on one of the replies and click quote post. You can also report posts if you wanna do that in case someone's spamming or something. But you can just write something there and then you can post it. So that all works really well. And if a form actually has a link in it, then if it's a form that links to another form, then it'll actually open within the application. Otherwise, if it's an outside link, then it'll open in your web browser here. And then when you go back to the application, resuming is pretty fast. It does take a little time here, but usually resuming works well. And we're back to the form here. One time when resuming doesn't seem to work well, is if you try to quote something like this one here if you quote it and you start replying to something and then you go to something else and you try to return to it it opened up really fast there but it's kind of frozen and then it actually after it gets past that little frozen stage there it removes your reply so you have to redo all that. So that's just a minor hiccup. Otherwise it works really nice and scrolling is usually pretty nice here. Scrolling inside threads are sometimes a bit choppy. Like if we open up this one and scroll through some of the posts. And sometimes it seems like when you resume the application it kills your data connection. Because I'm connected to Wi-Fi right now and it's not loading any data. It's trying to load, but it's not working. That might be a problem of Windows Phone 7 in general, but it especially happens in this application. So you're forced to close it and resume the application. Now the developers do seem like they're really taking on the challenge to fix every single bug possible. Because when you first start the app up, they tell you to submit as many bugs as possible, and they'll try to fix them. Another bug, for example, is within the XDA developers forms here. If you try to open up any attachments that are pictures, they don't open at all. However, viewing attachments in other forms, like this Mazda RX-8 form, seems to work perfectly fine. So it does support a bunch of different forms here. If you go back to the beginning, you can search for forms right here, or you can browse through all the different categories of forms, and there's thousands of different forms that are compatible with this, and you can also look at the recently new forms. So each form might have individual problems, and that's why they really ask you to submit your bugs to the developers, because then they can fix them. But overall, it is a good experience, and it usually works pretty well. There's a lot of settings you can configure too, like the color scheme, 
and how many posts, like results per page, show up. And you can also change what loads first on startup. And it also does have a landscape and portrait mode. You can change the text size. And you can change some of the viewing options here, like jumping to the first page while opening a form. And stuff like that. There's also traffic there, and you can change your signature so that when you make posts, it'll say it's sent from your HD7 or your Samsung Focus or stuff like that. Another issue is the search within different forms here. It's just a general search, and it searches the entire form, so you can't search for specific stuff. Like, if you wanted to just search for lock screens within the Windows Phone um, Windows Phone 7 categories it would search lock screen for everything and there's no way to restrict that it seems like but you do have a bunch of different options within the forms here like you can create a new post so you can create a new thread and you can refresh the form you can only show your subscribe forms you can go over here and you can look at the threads that you're only subscribed to or the threads that you've participated in. You can also filter by new topics or unread topics. And you can mark your topics read. So that'll of course link with your account that you have on the form. If you're looking for a faster and more fluid way to view all your different forms, then Board Express Pro is a pretty good choice for $2.99. It still could use some improvement in the snappiness of the application because sometimes the scrolling is a bit iffy and there are a few bugs present but that will of course depend on which threads you're actually looking at and which forms you're viewing. And if you do run into any bugs you can always send the developers a message and they'll try to get it fixed as soon as possible. Once again you can find Board Express Pro in the marketplace for $2.99.